So now in this lecture we will discuss about architecture of 8086 microprocessor. Now by now we know that in case of 8086 microprocessor uh, it is basically based on 16 bit architecture. Now the internal registers of 8086 processor are 16 bit. Its data bus is of 16 bit. It has 20 bit Uh, address bus and uh, with the 20 bit address bus we can connect uh, one megabyte up to one megabyte of memory now in case of this architecture of 8086 they are having one special feature <coughs> the internal architecture of 8086 is divided in uh, two parts this one unit is called as bus interface unit bus interface unit b i u <coughs> another section of the hardware is called as execution unit now both of these units works simultaneously in parallel and now due to this the speed of the operation of this processor increased <laughs> now basically in case of uh, bus interface unit uh, or first we will see <clears throat> what is the main purpose of bus interface unit so the main purpose of this bus interface unit is uh, it interact with outside world outside world here means uh, uh, some data we have stored in external memory so uh, to generate the address for that particular memory location then to uh, take that data from that memory location or to read the data from input device to send the data to the input device to send the addresses of input and output devices so in this way the microprocessor uh, interact with outside world through bus interface unit and the main purpose of execution unit is uh, to decode the instruction and to execute the instruction basically uh, we know that uh, to perform certain operation microprocessor does three things first it fetch the instruction then it decode instruction and third finally it executes execute instruction now this fetching of the instruction is the responsibility of bus interface unit this part and decoding and the execution of the instruction is the responsibility of <coughs> execution unit so now to fetch the instruction uh, processor has to send the memory address and it has to bring the data from the memory through the data bus so this means memory uh, this address bus and the data bus is the part of bi so in case of bus interface unit uh there are some registers uh, in total in in case of 8086 processor 
In total, there are 14 registers. And some registers are the part of bus interface unit and some registers are the part of interface uh, execution unit. So in, in bus interface unit, the registers which are the part of bus interface unit are uh, code segment register, data segment register, stack segment register, extra segment register and uh, instruction pointer. So all of these registers are 16 bit. So all these registers are 16 bit. So this uh, <coughs> CS means uh, code segment register. Uh, DS means data segment register. Then SS means stack, stack segment register and ES means extra segment register. So now here with 8086 processor what happened in the, in the uh, previous version of the processor if suppose this is the memory and this is the processor this is our microprocessor so it is interfaced with memory through address bus and through data bus now in in memory uh, this processor the, I'm talking about the PC previous processors like 8085 so uh, whole memory is treated as single memory so anywhere we can store our uh, program code anywhere we can store our data right so for example in this in this section of the memory we have stored our uh, code right whatever program instruction we write and in this section of the memory we have stored our data right so anywhere, even here also we can store our, in this section also we can store our data. So anywhere, anywhere we can use. So this processor will treat this memory as a single memory. Now whereas in case of 8086 processor, uh, this is the memory, what it will do? Uh, Physically memory will remain same, but logically it will uh, create different sections, different segments, right? For example, uh, this much segment uh, can be created for our uh, program code, right? So in, in this area, we can write our instructions code and suppose this much section is created uh, to serve the purpose of our data segment right so we will put our data in this segment only right this section we will form for our stack right so the stack is the temporary uh, I mean the stack is the memory area where we can store the content of our registers of the process temporary so that uh, we can utilize those registers in our programming and later on when we require those previous data we can retrieve it from the stack so this much memory area is defined for stack and uh, suppose this much memory is uh, extra 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 segment so in this way we can so now the memory is same physically it is same but now what we have done we have logically divided the memory in 
code segment, this is my code segment, this is my data segment, this is my stack segment, this is my extra segment. In this way, logically partition we have done. So this is a new concept which was introduced in 8086 and, and the application of this concept is uh, with this particular concept with the segmentation this is called as segmentation of the memory so with the segmentation of the memory uh, we can use the processor in multi processing environment like networking type of environment so regarding that we will discuss uh, afterward in coming lecture but right now you just understand in the bus interface unit there are these segment registers, right? Codes, codes, code segment register, data segment register, stack, stack segment register, extra segment register. So these segment register stores the address of our uh, starting of our address of our segments, right? So in in code segment register, we have the address of uh, code segment, right? So we are exactly our code segment in is there in the memory, and in uh, in the stack segment register we have the address that we are exactly our stack segment in our memory like that. Uh, the addresses of the segments will be stored in these registers. Now instruction pointer is just similar to program counter. We already discussed that uh, uh, the purpose of program counter is it, it points the memory location from where next instruction is to be fetched. So that address is there in program counter register. So in some processor we call it as program counter and in some processor we call it as instruction pointer. So here in 8086 it is called as instruction pointer. So all these registers are 16 bit registers. Now here there is a sum, summer section, sum. is a 16 bit. So internal registers we are having 16 bit but the address for the memory which this processor will generate will be of 20 bit. So all the addresses, uh, all, all the registers are 16 bit but the address generated will be 20 bit. So to generate a 20 bit address with the help of 16 bit registers there is one uh, this unit right so we call it as a sum sum unit right it will add something and then it will generate 20 bit physical address right so by this uh, this is our uh, address bus or data bus right so with these address and data bus, uh, since these address and data bus will be connected to memory, so through this our microprocessor will be connected to outside world. Now this is this is the internal bus. But once the data or address is inside this processor, then it will flow over these uh, buses and through this bus, it will, the instructions will be stored in a place that is called as Q.
So there are six six storing place in this cube. So there are six bytes which can be stored. Byte number one, byte number two, byte number three, byte number four, byte number five, and byte number six. Right. So in Q, uh, the instructions which processor will execute in future. So uh, six bytes of those instructions will be stored in advance inside this queue. So this is a new feature which was introduced in uh, 8086 processor and with the concept of this queue we are able to now implement pipeline concept. Right? So Q, the application of queue is uh, used to implement pipeline concept. So we will discuss regarding the pipeline pipeline concept in detail in next lecture. But but uh, the meaning of pipeline you just understand uh, when processor is decoding and executing a instruction at that time, during that duration, it will fetch the next instructions from the memory and it will bring those instructions inside this queue. Right? So the meaning of pipeline is while executing an instruction, while decoding an instruction, uh, when processor fetch the new instruction bytes, then this concept is called as pipeline concept. So pipeline concept uh, we, we can implement the pipeline concept only with the help of Q. So this is a new feature in 8086 processor. Now, uh, in execution unit, right? So, in bus interface unit, the part of bus interface unit is the registers, means segment registers, instruction pointer, and uh, queue, where we store 6 bytes, and this summing unit, which is used to generate 20 bit physical address, right? So, uh, Whatever is the actual address of the memory, that is called as physical address, right? So physical address is always 20 bit. So 20 bit address will be generated from summing unit. It will take uh, some values from uh, the segment register and from other registers. Then it will do some adding and finally it will generate 20 bit address, which is the real address of uh, memory location. So this 20 bit address is called as physical address. Physical address and it is 20 bit. So this physical address, this 20 bit is connected to memory. Okay. But the registers, internal registers are 16 bit. So basically the address, address of the memory is stored in the form of 16 bit. But we have to, we have to generate a 20 bit, 20 bit address. So we have to do certain manipulations, calculations, right? Operations. So that will be done by this summing unit. Now in execution unit, uh, there is now the instructions which are to be executed in future now they are in queue right so uh, from queue those instructions will go in execution unit and in execution unit we have control unit right control 
so uh, control unit in control unit the basic thing is inside the control unit is uh, decoder so it will decode the meaning of instruction so uh, here decoding will be done right and uh, uh, depending upon the decoding of certain instructions this control unit will generate various type of uh, timing and control signal to uh, to control the operation of execution unit uh, as well as uh, bus interface unit now all these are internal bus right These are the uh, internal bus. Now here in the execution unit, there is arithmetic and logical unit. So this is our ALU. Which perform arithmetic and logical operation, and after this, it will generate a result, and again, a result will be sent back to these internal data bus. Okay. And at the same time, depending upon the result, there is one register called as. flag okay so there is one register called as flag so uh, in the for example suppose uh, we are performing addition on two numbers so after the addition if some carry is generated right so in in the flag register there is one bit position which indicates the Which which is carry flag. So if carry is generated during the addition, then that bit will set. So once that bit will set, and if you observe that bit, and if that bit is set, then immediately we come to know that uh, after the addition of two numbers uh, in the ALU section, one carry is generated. So in this way, there are uh, various bits which reflect. various uh, type of results uh, which which is performed in alu section so this is one register and this is also a 16 bit register now this section is connected with this internal bus and here we have few more registers right so here we have few more registers and these registers are named as ax bx cx dx right so there these are these are general purpose registers general purpose so these registers are 16 bit register right ax is the 16 bit register bx is the 16 bit register cx and dx they are 16 bit registers but these registers can again split into 8 bit registers but that we will discuss afterwards so just you understand there are four general purpose registers and there are two index registers index registers uh, si and di okay so they are indexed registers index registers so si means 
source index source indexed register and di means destination indexed destination indexed register so what is the purpose of these registers that we will discuss afterward and there are some uh, there is there is base pointer right uh, bp and uh, there is another register called as stack pointer st right so after index register there are two more register called as pointers pointers these are pointers so bp means base pointer and sp means stack pointer so they are having some special work so we will discuss afterward so now you just calculate how many total registers we have written here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and 14 these are uh, total 14 registers of uh, 8086 processor now out of these 14 registers in bus interface unit there are segment registers uh, port segment data segment stack segment and extra segment registers and there is instruction pointer and in execution unit there are general purpose registers ax bx cx dx there is index registers si di there are pointers base pointer and stack pointer and there is a flag register now we will see uh, how the pipelining concept is introduced in 8086 with the help of q okay so this we will continue in next lecture